In this short video, we will explain how we perform endoscopic mucosal resection, or EMR, of flat colon polyps. Most polyps are removed through simple techniques that all physicians who perform colonoscopy can do. However, large polyps, and particularly large flat polyps, require special techniques and special training to effectively remove. However, almost all polyps, large or small, can be removed as long as cancer has not developed. Some polyps cannot be removed effectively by endoscopic mucosal resection. Once a cancer has developed, especially if it has extended into the deeper layers of the colon, surgery is usually required for effective removal. Endoscopic mucosal resection is a very safe technique. However, as with all endoscopic procedures, there is a small risk of complication. These include bleeding that requires blood transfusion and perforation or a tear in the colon wall, which occurs less than 2 to 3 percent of cases. When these do occur, some complications can be treated by endoscopy, such as placement of small clips over a site of bleeding or perforation, but some require surgery or other methods to repair. Large pol colon polyps, typically those more than 2 centimeters or about 1 inch, have a higher chance of recurrence. Thus, close follow-up with repeat exam in 3 to 6 months, then about a year after that, is usually recommended. The initial follow-up is usually done at the center that performed the EMR, in this case, the Mayo Clinic. But long-term follow-up can be done closer to home if the patient and referring doctor wish. Endoscopic mucosal resection is similar to most other colonoscopy procedures, but with some important differences. Bowel preparation is similar to other colonoscopy, but a very clean prep is essential to see flat polyps. Colonoscopy is performed under sedation by a doctor with special training or experience in endoscopic mucosal resection. Advanced, high-definition colonoscopes are helpful to see flat polyps and define what to remove and what not to remove. Once a polyp is found, there are generally three steps for removal. First, injection of fluid under the polyp to lift and separate it from the deeper layers of the colon. Second, removal with the special snare device. Typically, this snare is made of a stiffer metal material that allows the endoscopist to grab effectively the flat polyp tissue. Third, depending on the size and location, closure of the resection site with metallic clips is usually performed. Note these metallic clips require that you avoid MRI for about four weeks after the procedure. The clips naturally fall off by themselves and are passed in the stool, often unnoticed. In this video, we will show the basic technique for how EMR is done. The flat polyp is noted on the right in pink. The colonoscope is advanced through the colon to the site of the polyp, and the site is injected with a long needle with a saline solution to lift the polyp. The polyp tissue, as well as a small amount of normal tissue, is usually grabbed with the snare device and resected. And lastly, the site may be closed with metallic clips to prevent future complications. Thank you.